Hello everybody, welcome to Mathetic Original Channel. Thank you for watching our videos. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. In today's video, we'll describe some basic geometric terms. So let's begin. Let's start with a point. A point can be described as a location a location in space with no length no width and no thickness. So, we can represent a point like this. We can represent a point like this and a symbol for the point is P. We can say point P. Okay, so that's one way we can represent a point now now that we know what a point is so let's talk about a line a line a line is a set of point okay it's it's, it's like a, a bunch of point along a straight path with no end point okay a line does not have an end so we can define or describe a line as a set of points along along a straight path with no end points with no end points okay so which means there is no end for a line so a line can be represented as this so let's say if uh, i can draw a line okay so and i'll put an arrow on both sides of that line which mean on the left of that line is go all the way to negative infinity and on the right of the line is go all the way to positive infinity so there is no beginning there is no end and also we have to name the line so let's say this is a uh, line l okay so this is line l and we can also put some point on that line. Let's say I'm gonna call this point uh, Q, if I may, and I'll call this point R, okay? So that's a way you can represent a line, okay? So you, if you notice like I have the arrow again on both sides of the line, which means there is not a beginning on that line and there is not an end, an end on that line, okay? So what symbol do we use to name this line or to write the line so when you're writing the line you can use two put on that line okay you can use two put on that line now remember that line have a, a infinite number of points we got many points on that line okay so it's, it's just a set of points okay thousands millions billions of points on that line so we can take two points on the line let's say i have those q and r and i can say well the line q r okay i have q r now if i just leave q r like this so i don't really explain exactly what is this okay so if i want to write q r as the line so I have to put on top of QR. It is very important to do that. 
on, on top of QR, I have to put that little arrow right here on both sides. Now, when I see this, I know that Swap is in line QR. Also, you can you can um just say line L. Okay, you can also say line L. Okay, so either you put line L or you put QR with that little symbol on top of it. That little thing right here is the symbol for a line. Okay, so example. Example. If I say to a right line OP. Okay, if I give you this, something like this, that mean I want you to draw or, or, or I need to draw the line OP. So I'm just gonna go here, put the two arrow, and I can anywhere on this line put the two point O P. Okay, you can either say OP or PO. Okay, it's the same thing. All right, you can say OP or PO. So, so you can say O P O. Just like on that, just like over here, you can say Q R or R Q. Okay, it's still the same thing. O R Q. Still the same thing here. Uh, Q. Okay. So the important thing here is that it will symbol that is on top of the letter. So if you're not gonna say line L, okay. If you're not gonna say line L, you gotta say. Uh, if you're gonna use those two points on that line, you gotta put that symbol on top of it so we know you are talking about a line okay so this is very important for line so now that we know a point is just a location in space with no length no width and no thickness and we also know that a line is a set of points along a straight path with no end point so we know a line have no end point and we also know it is important when you are presenting a line to put uh you can use a uh, two point on that line with that little symbol on top of it okay it doesn't matter how you order it the order doesn't matter you can put like qr or rq that's the same thing the same line so those two is the same line MN and NM is the same line, okay? It doesn't matter the order you put it. So as long as you make sure you put uh, that, it was that symbol, that's the symbol for the line on top of the two letters. So that's one way you will put the line. And uh, or you can just put line in that one letter. Sometimes they can put uh, a lowercase uh, letter next to the line. It could be L, it could be M, it could be Q. Okay, so if you're gonna use that, you have to write the, the word line L or line M or line P. Okay, so that's another way you can represent a line. So now, let's talk about a ray. So what is a ray? So a ray is almost like a line. So the difference between a ray and a line so it's just that a ray is a part of the line, okay? A ray is a part of the line. So we know a line have no end point at all, whether on the left side of the line or the right side of the line. A ray, in the other hand, does have one end point in one side of that line okay so we can describe a way as a part of a line okay because it is a part of the line so it is a part of the line a part of a line 
which extend okay extending endlessly which means it has no end endlessly in one direction okay so one direction has no end so and from one point on that line that we call the end point okay so the way the first thing we know the way is a part of a line okay so a way is the part of a line it's a part of a line the second thing we know is that a way uh, is extending endlessly in one direction okay from one point in one direction is extending all right so uh and we also know a way of has one end point so how do we represent a way so if i have let's say i have uh i have this okay so on this line right here I put a point right here, so that would be my end point. So that's mean the line cannot pass this point right here. We're gonna call that point S. Okay, so we're gonna to make that a ray. So we're gonna have to put an L over here. So let's put another point here, T. So this one right here means on this side. That on the, on the left side is the end point, so you cannot pass that point S. But on the right side, because I have the arrow here, okay, I have the arrow here, so that means it's continue all the way to infinity, okay. So how do we? What symbol do we use to represent ray? So when you represent ray, you can use that symbol. You can say ST, okay. So that's for the ray just like for the line you put the two point on that way but you have to make sure how do i know this is not a line or a segment or you know this is a way how do i know this is a way so the only way just like for the line i just like for the line i have to use that symbol right here on top of the qr so for a way i have to use a symbol as well i'm gonna make that symbol in blue so it's gonna go that way okay and then i have to put the arrow here you guys see that so the line have that little arrow on both sides but a way only have it in one side okay so that's mean it's a way now example if i have to write a way if I have this, okay, so MN, so if I'm reading this, I'm, I'm going to say the ray MN, and if I'm drawing this, it will look like that, okay, I can put a point here, now the first letter is where the point is, the first letter is where the point is, okay, so M and the second point can be anywhere and and then I will make sure I put my little L here so that's telling me this is array M N okay now the next one is a segment okay a segment again a segment is also part of the line okay so a segment is also a part of a line so the difference between segment and ray is that a way have one end point in one side of that line and and on the other side is continue forever endlessly but a segment have a stopping or an end point on both sides of the line okay segment have a 
end point on both sides of the line. So we can we can describe a segment as a part of a line, like I said, a part of a part of a line between two points. Okay, because a, a both side of the line have has a uh, half point. So we can say between two points including yes including oops sorry both and points okay including both end points so <clears throat> what do i mean by that let's uh use a quick example to represent that how do we represent a segment let's say uh i have uh this line here now if i were drawing a line i'll put an arrow here and i'll put also put an arrow on on this side so i'll have an arrow on both sides to indicate that uh the line uh uh it does it, it is a line so it does not have a beginning and it does not have an end if i was drawing um a ray so i'll put a point here an end point here or a dot if i shall say uh and then on the other side i'll put an hour okay so that to indicate that uh it's continue on one side and stop on the other side if if i uh but because i'm doing a segment so on both sides i'm gonna have to have a point so i'm gonna have a point here and i'm gonna have a point here okay so so i can call this point uh let's say point u and call this point v okay so that's a segment okay so notice like the point the both point that's on that graph is the end point so uh this is not the only two points on the graph you know there's a point anywhere on that graph okay so it just does two end point so the graph cannot continue past point u and also it cannot continue past point v so that's what we call the end points so if i wanna the symbol we use for that is you can say uv All right, so you can say UV, and then here you just put a bar on top of it. Okay, so now notice, uh, for the line, for the line, when I put that bar, I put an error on both sides. Okay, and for the ray, I put the error on one side of the line. So this line is continuous on both sides. The way is continue on one side, but the segment does not continue in uh, another side. Okay, so that's how you represent. That's the symbol for this. Or, or you can also um, have it that way. So just just the same as the line U V or V U is the same segment. Okay. So if I got U V or V U, that's the same segment. There is, it's not two different uh segment over here. It's just the exact same segment. Okay. The only thing that you need to make sure of is to put that little bar on top of the two letters. Okay. Now, we know about a uh, point. We know about line. We know about array, and we know about segment. So the next one i want to talk about is angles angles angle so what is an angle uh angle is uh, defined as two rays so we know what rays is now excuse me two rays with a common endpoint all right 
to raise with a common common endpoint. So, so uh, uh, we know a way have uh, one endpoint and in the other direction is uh, continue forever, so it doesn't stop. So when you when you you have an angle, you can have two ways, and then one common endpoint. So uh, we can represent an angle like this. I'm gonna just give you an example. Okay, so let's say uh, now this is why he is the endpoint. Okay, because when those two way meet or intersect, so that's from an endpoint right here. So on this side right here of the angle those are continued there is no stop in here uh now let's call let's call each one of them let's call this uh point a on this way and let's put a uh, point c point b where they meet and let's put point c over here okay so a b c now how do we name how do we uh what symbol do we use for for an angle so again uh notice we have way b a so we can say we got way b a or way a b so b a is a way and we also have way b c b c is a way okay so b the point b Point B is the point where both ray B A and B C share. Okay, that's the point that they share. They share the both share point B. So that's why we say angles are two rays that share a common endpoint. Okay, and that endpoint is B. So how do I how do I uh, 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 represent the the angle? So when you represent the angle, one symbol for the angle is this. Okay. The symbol for the angle is this. Sorry, let me do a better one. So that's the symbol for the angle. So you put this symbol and then in front of that symbol, you can go ahead and put A, B, C. Okay. The three point. A, B, C. Now, when you're writing those three letters, make sure the end point is in the middle. Okay, so make sure the end point is in the middle. So this is you can put it like angle ABC, or you can say, or you can say angle. You can say angle. C B A. Okay. So again, the letter B is stay in the middle because that is your end point. Or you can just call it by the end, by the end point. Or you can say you can simply say angle B. Angle B. Okay. So all three of those mean the same thing. Angle A B C angle cba angle b this means exactly the same thing okay so now remember I, this three are the same but if you put uh angle c uh, if you put uh if you put c in the middle it change the thing if you put a in the middle it change everything okay so you have to make sure the the end point you gotta make sure the end point is in the middle okay that's the symbol for for the angle and then the two uh point that's on each arrow is at the end and then the end point is in the middle because both of them share the same end point okay so um arrow b a and way b c way b a and way b c share the same end point b all right so now that endpoint has a name okay the endpoint has a name 
So we call that a vertex of the angle. Oops. So we call that vertex. Call the endpoint a vertex. So a vertex of an angle. Vertex of an angle. I'll say. So the vertex of an angle is the common endpoint of the two ways of the two ways that form the angle. From the angle. So <clears throat> again, uh, this is the end point of both ray that's from the angle ABC. So a B is the vertex. Point B is the is the vertex of angle ABC. Point B is the vertex of angle ABC. So um uh, now an angle can be measured so let's talk about the measure of an angle measure of an angle angle can be measured can be measured as degree or radian okay degree or radian so when you say an angle can be 20 degree an angle can be 180 degree an angle can be not degree so that's a way you measure an angle also you can measure angle by radian by saying an angle can be pi radian an angle can be a uh, two pi radian okay so uh both degree and radians they are units for angles now the symbol that we use to write the measure of an angle is this you put m now we know if to write an angle you put this right here so that is the symbol for an angle so let's say i'm talking about angle abc so this read as angle abc okay which is the same thing which is the same thing so that's angle abc which is the same thing as saying angle cba or the same thing as saying angle B. Now, if I want the measure of angle ABC, all I do is put a M in front of it. Okay, so this one is reading as the measure of angle ABC. You see the difference? So without the M, it just with angle ABC. But with the M, it's with the measure of angle ABC. So so to recap, we we know that a point is just a location in space with no length, no width, and no thickness. And we also know that a line is a set of points along a straight path with no endpoint. So we know a line have no endpoint; it continues on both sides forever to infinity. Uh, we know that a ray is a part of a line with one endpoint and one endless uh, direction. Okay, one endpoint and one endless direction. So, which means in one side of that line, we got an endpoint. We start with a point, 
in the other side or the other direction is go on forever so that's for a way uh we know for a segment we have two endpoints on both sides we got one input on both sides so an in uh a segment is a part of the line between two points okay and those two points we call them end point uh we know an angle is two way with a common end point okay so that common end point we call it the vertex of that angle and then to measure an angle you put m in front of it so every time you see m so that stands for the measure okay you put m and then you put the angle symbol and you put the angle the letters so now remember when you're writing the letters for the angles the vertex is always go in the middle okay if you're using all three letters so you always make sure the vertex is in the middle or you can just use the vertex by itself okay so just like i did over here okay so i want to write those this the same angle right here so i make sure i say abc so i put b in the middle so whether i say abc or cba it doesn't matter as long as i have b in the middle or i can just call the angle angle b which is the vertex again so the vertex is the most important thing on naming uh, an angle. So this is all I have for today's video. Uh, if you have any question, any suggestion, any feedback, uh, please do not hesitate to put them in the comment. And uh, don't forget to share with a friend or family member. And uh, once again, thank you. And I'll see you for the next video. Thank you.